Welcome to Learn to Live Stress-Free. This is Christine Wright with Dr. Robert Wright, Jr. of www.stressfreenow.info. Hi, this is Dr. Bob, the stress and pain relief doctor, coming to you today from someplace in Denmark. I want to talk to you today about why you should consider taking a cruise. So who, who is a cruise for? Well, cruise can be for uh, anyone, uh, especially if you want to see uh, a lot of destinations uh, in an easy way. Uh, it's much better than flying um, uh, from place to place to place. So, for example, um, you could go on a 10-day cruise. Let's say you leave from New York and the first stop is uh, St. Thomas and then uh, San Juan and then uh, uh, Antigua, and then St. Vincent, and then Grenada, and then uh, back to New York. It may stop in Puerto Rico, and then back to New York. So there you have, in, in a 10-day period, you have been to six places um, uh, outside mainland the United States, and uh, it, it, it it allows you to sample um, uh, very quickly. Okay, so basically, uh, what is a cruise? A cruise is um, an, an amazing way to vacation because there are so many uh, uh, options available to you. I mean, you have a spa, you have like some on cruise ships, you have 20 different restaurants, plus room service. Oh, by the way, most of the time room service is free. Try that trick in a hotel. Um, you have the gym, you have all kinds of classes. Oh, and by the way, entertainment is free. So it doesn't matter if you like classic music, rock and roll, R&B, opera, ballet, um, uh, Las Vegas type venues. Oh, they always have a casino. So for the people that like to gamble and most ships uh, still have um, some places where you can smoke, like the, the ship I'm on here, uh, uh, for the people that smoke, there is just one place. It's an outdoor venue at the back of the ship uh, here on Deck 9. Other ships, they, they have uh, two venues. They have uh, typically a place for people that smoke cigarettes, which is an outdoor venue, usually covered. And then they'll uh, also have a, what's uh, called a cigar lounge, like on... Um, on the canard ships, the uh, cigar lounges are, are called Churchill. And, you know, after uh, Winston Churchill and the Churchill cigar. And then on uh, other cruise ships, uh, I don't know that they necessarily have a name for the cigar lounges, but they have cigar lounges. So if you are a cigar aficionado like I am, that is a, a very uh, important um, uh, decision for me. You know, if it's a non-smoking ship, I probably won't take that cruise. Uh, versus like a person that, that they hate people that smoke, they're like, oh, I don't want to be on a ship where there, there are any smokers. So great, you know, and because I know people like that. And so the other thing is that um, for people that are big meat eaters, they have um, uh, uh, premium restaurants, steak houses that can uh, satisfy those needs. People that love uh, uh, Japanese food and sushi, they, they, they have those things. But what they also have, which uh, until recently I had never seen, they have a whole option for vegans and people of other uh, religious um, uh, persuasion. So, for example, if a person is, say, Orthodox Jew or um, uh, uh, Muslim, et cetera, um, they have a separate menu. And I've been startled. And then, um, you know, I know people that are vegans and take that very seriously. And um, for some people, it's it's just uh, nutrition, uh, lifestyle thing. For other people, it, it's it's a religious thing. So so they have things for the meat eaters, the the fish eaters, the vegetarians, and the vegans. And so and all of it's free. So of course they also have now, which they never had. Um, up until about 10 years ago, which are premium uh, dining venues. So um, at first, I was very, very skeptical. So I was like, listen, when I go on a cruise, I like the fact that the food is free. 
You know, I'm here, I can go to the Lido, I can go to the main dining room, I can order room service, and I don't have to pay extra. I like that. However, since I have now eaten at the several um, premium dining restaurants where there's an extra charge on, uh, on, on um, let's see, one through, on uh, five different ships, I have to say it's definitely worth it. Why? When you consider what it costs to go out to dinner at a steakhouse like Morton's or even Outback or even like Ruth Chris, um, the value offer at the steakhouses on the cruise ship that I've experienced, um, basically you're talking about a savings of between 10 and 50 percent of what it would cost you if you were like say at morton's or or you know someplace like that like that uh, famous steakhouse uh under the brooklyn bridge uh i can't think of the name of it right now but um yeah your your bill would be like 10 percent per person <laughs> and i'm not talking about with uh, ordering a wine because you know depending on your palate you know, and your budget um you know that can uh I was shocked to see um, on one menu they had a bottle of wine for for six hundred bucks. I was like, "Who's buying a bottle of wine for six hundred bucks?" You know, what wine could be that good? Well, in any event, what the waitress told me is that well, we have customers they they like that wine and they're willing to pay six hundred bucks. Well, good for them. And uh, same thing like the uh, Scotch. Uh, McCollum's. So I only recently um, learned about that because, you know, I'm not a scotch drinker. I don't really drink heavy liquor. And um, I may have an aperitif for digestive, but uh, but um, I'm not really drinking heavy liquor. Although recently, <laughs> in the past year, because when I was in Ruber, they had this amazing deal at the airport, you know, when you're going through and they have the duty free. And so I said, I, I have a friend in New York that loves um, uh, Glenn Levitt. And I said, oh, you know, maybe I'll pick this up for him as a gift. I haven't seen him in a long time and he appreciated it. And so I said, well, uh, I've heard that this is really a really good single walk. I don't really know. I've never had a single walk. So, um, so I said, let me pick up a bottle for myself. So when I got to the register, this is inside the airport in Aruba, the lady at the cashier says to me, she says, oh, she says, if you buy two, you get the third bottle for three. I was like, well, Wilbur, <laughs> I like this thing. So I, I, so I said, so here's what was so amazing about that. I got three bottles of Glen Levitt single mall for less than a hundred dollars when i got back home to new york i was curious to see what did that same bottle of cost in the local liquor store well one bottle was depending on the liquor store because i checked three different places was between 90 and 110 dollars so let's average it out at 100 <laughs> plus tax. Um, so I felt like I, 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 I made out really good. And here, in the, this is, a, you know, another benefit of cruising. This is totally unexpected because I was inside the airport going to my flight and I saw the duty-free shop. I very, very rarely uh, go into a duty-free shop because I find the prices to be exorbitant, not a, a, a buy. But in this particular case, so I got three bottles I, and I gave uh, Glenn Levitt, and I gave two of them away. And I have to tell you, uh, even though I'm not a, a single malt guy, that Glenn Levitt on the rocks was smooth. Went very well with my cigars. So in any event, I want to encourage you to consider taking a cruise because one of the things that you'll discover is that there's something about being on the water that 
helps people relax. I can tell you what it is, but um, the main thing is that it's the negative ions being generated. It's also the fact that, that people are off their regular uh, hectic schedule. And so uh, that combination and also doing fun things like, you know, seeing a show, having great food, uh, getting a massage all in the same day, that helps people be in a good mood. And so when people are in a good mood, you, you know, they're, they're apt to mingle and uh, talk and, and laugh, et cetera. I have heard so much laughter uh, here on the ship. And I'm not talking about going to the shows because I haven't been to any of the shows. They've had comedy shows. They've had um, uh, um, uh, Las Vegas type shows, theater. Um, and on this particular cruise, I've chosen not to do any of that. Um, I've been uh, spa, room service, um, uh, a couple of shore excursions, and then basically getting extra sleep and rest and talking to people. And so that's been um, a lot of fun and uh, eye-opening because, um, you know, here I am in uh, the Baltic region, you know, Finland, Latvia, Estonia, Denmark, uh, Holland, Germany. Uh, these are places that, you know, uh, I really never thought of uh, going to. So it's been interesting talking to people, hearing the different languages, asking people, how do you say thank you, good morning, good night, uh, have a nice day in your language. And so sometimes I can pronounce the words, sometimes I can't. And so then I ask again, you know, and I ask again and ask again. And so, um, oh, before I close, one of the really sweet spots of cruising is the crew. Um, I've actually never talked about this before, but uh, 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 a huge reason people cruise is the crew. And on the, the ships that I've been on recently, the crews are mainly from uh, Indonesia, the Philippines, Thailand, South Africa, and uh, Mauritius. Now on this cruise, um, you have uh, people from, uh, also from Croatia, uh, Serbia, um, and of course, Holland. <laughs> Holland. And um, I haven't met, and, oh, and I, I just met a guy at guest services from, um, from France, and um, there are people from Spain. Um, but it's interesting on uh, different ships, they, they had the composition of the crew is different on the, um, on the uh, other cruise line. Um, there were more people from South America, from uh, Colombia, South America, and Peru, and Mexico. And so I haven't met any people on this ship from that area. But um, they, to make up for it, there have been people from, from Spain. Um, the, uh, I haven't met any people from Portugal on a cruise ship yet. And so that's been uh, interesting. Oh, nope, I take that back. Um, I, I did uh, um, one of the top officers on the other cruise line. He was from Lisbon. So, but he's the only person that uh, I can think of that I met that was from Portugal. So, if, if so, this is Dr. Bob telling you, if you want to get your people groove on. I know my wife and I, we made more friends on cruises than any place else. When we sat back and we said, you know, where do we meet people that we um, are simpatical, that uh, we connect with? And here's what I mean by connecting. I define connecting as I hang out at your house, you hang out at my house, and you spend the night, and I spend the night. Now that, so... People that we have met on cruises, that is what's happened. And so if you like that kind of thing, I know that's a high bar because as I said, <laughs> you gotta really like somebody to let them spend the night at your house. You know, that's like lending them your car. 
So that that that's really really high up there, and so you know we have people in our family, and we you know we love them, but we want they're not spending the night, and so that's that, that you know that was a joke that my brother and I had. You know people can love you, but man, to let people stay at your house, that is um, that means they 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 that that you're really high up there, and so um, I can tell you from experience had many many uh people um who have become lifelong friends uh from uh taking the longer cruises and so on my next uh, video what i will talk about is the difference in the demographic and the other characteristics of the shorter versus the medium versus the longer cruises like a world cruise this is dr pop signing off from someplace in Denmark. <laughs> someplace in Denmark. I, I'm, I'm not getting off this ship. And, and so um, this uh, is turning out to be a fabulous day where, um, you know, the sun is out and it's not so cold. And I'm really glad that um, I'm able to be on the deck because sometime I know I was talking to people who had been on this ship and they were in Norway and they were saying, um, even though this was, um, I guess, late April, they had a uh, sleet and hail. And so I would not be on the deck <laughs> coming to you with sleet and hail. So this is Dr. Bob signing off from MR. Until next time, wishing you well. Be safe and be well.